Mr. Speaker, I recently received the monthly update, first monthly update from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs since the announced delays associated with the Lafayette and Lake Charles VA community-based outpatient clinics. VA Secretary Eric Shinseki's office followed through on my request for detailed monthly updates of the progress the VA is making with regard to these clinics in both Lafayette and Lake Charles. The errors in the contracting process were solely the VA's fault, and they've admitted it. And I will remain vigilant in overseeing the expedited process to deliver South Louisiana veterans the local care they need and deserve. I'm pleased to announce that there are new and much needed services for veterans coming to Lafayette in early May. These services include home-based primary care, uh, imaging and x-ray services, prosthetics, and dental care. For the veterans in Lake Charles, a mobile clinic providing primary care services is, is expected to begin June 4th, and selection of a location is underway. This will be a first for our veterans in Lake Charles who've had to travel uh, afar to get basic care. According to the VA officials, the Veterans Affairs uh, Clinic uh, primary care services will be available in Lake Charles three days per week, also beginning June 4th. Uh, women's services will be provided one day per week in Lake Charles beginning as well. We need to do more, and we're going to do more. These are all very important services the veterans of South Louisiana deserve. After sacrificing so much for our country, they should not have to wait any longer for, for this very much needed medical care. Expediting this process must remain a top priority for the veterans of, uh, for the VA. Having cared for veterans in the VA system during my medical career, I know localized, personalized outpatient facilities and care are best for our veterans. This is a critical priority for our area. This is the least we can do for those who fought for our country, on behalf of our country. And I'm committed to ensuring that this unnecessary VA mistake does not repeat itself in the future, and, and I will continue demanding accountability from the VA leadership on this and on other issues. I will continue to be the leading advocate for local veterans as we work to improve health care for our veterans in Lafayette and Lake Charles and the surrounding communities of South Louisiana. God bless those who have served our country. God bless America. I yield back. Gentlemen,